You were talking about, let's go after the most stringent, because if we do that, then it's going to be easier to launch in other countries or other areas. And so how often do people actually go to the less regulated because it's easier to get proof of concept or launch or sell or whatever? Or is that an uphill battle to then come back and get the stricter? I've definitely seen companies that have jumped into the less regulated areas just because they know that there is uh, almost like a, a tons of roadblocks along the way for a more stringent market like Europe. But mm -hmm. the, the common pitfall I see with that is that it doesn't help in terms of establishing uh, consumer trust or even brand reputation. Because how I look at it, when you have a product that you want to put to market, you want to ensure that you're building your brand trust, consumer trust as well. And along the way, when you're doing that, jumping into the stringent requirements, going through all of the necessary nuances, for example, MDR, IVDR, along the way, and then of course, assuming that you pass the approval process, that puts you in a different light to consumers and to even stakeholders because they see that you went through that process and you're willing to uh, go through the stringent requirements and come out successful. So they build trust on that and they can feel reassured that they can trust your brand. And that puts your brand in a whole different position and it definitely builds credibility in itself. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, or you can keep watching. And don't miss out on new posts by subscribing to our channel. And if you want to talk to Rapport International about all your translation and interpretation needs or about growing your business into new markets, use the link below for a free 30-minute consultation.